Hello everybody, and today I'm going to go over chapter approved. This isn't going to be a 40 minute video of all the craps in it, just the good stuff, right? I'm going to skip all the spaceman junk and all the stories, all the apocalypse games. I'm just going to go to the ones you actually will use. Okay, so one of the main changes you need to know. No, I think I can find the damn thing. So much junk. Oh yeah, it's got the Imperium fortifications in here as well, which is quite good. You have to buy the space cream book otherwise. Right, the only thing you have, to, you have to know is they change all the missions. So Eternal War and Maelstrom of War are different now. So you need to buy this book and know these rules to play your games. Right, but the biggest change about this is the limits of command. What it basically, what it basically does is so you re-roll in the initiative. You can't re-roll the dice for D3 victory points. And you can't re-roll the dice to see if the, the game ends. So this has made command points a lot less valuable because that's what I used to save money for. But I won a lot of games with doing that. Uh, boots on the ground, basically flyers, can't, scope jackers, we already knew that. So that's the major difference there. It's the change of the games itself and limits of command. The character things is um can't shoot unless it's the closest and visible model if it's a character. Okay, so you got a guy hiding behind cover and you can't see him, you can see the character, you still can't shoot him. These are all the new games, I'll put pictures of these up online, so let's skip all this. Okay, now, let's go to the... Right, next, po next important part. All junk, all the same, you'll know this. All the same as normal. Most important part is the relic. It's just somewhere. There we go. Name characters cannot take the relics, okay? You ha oh, is that? Ah, okay, so, whatever the world is, it says on you. So you haven't got to give it to the warlord, you can give it to any character, but they have to be bound and they have to be the same faction. So skip all the crap, let's go straight to the next ones, because no one cares about everything else, because it's all crap compared to the next ones. Yeah, Imperial Knights have buffed up the arse like always, so you can sell that crap. Okay, I will come out how things are, the same as online. Canoptic unit for two crown points, so every animation for one turn. In my opinion, that's not worth doing, because it's just too expensive. Enhanced reanimation protocols. I see that being used quite a bit, especially when people play Warriors. Because it lasts the end of the turn, so you, the Ghost Arc will work with this. So you get two reanimations with re one, so it's almost as good as a free, a free up if you've got Cryptic there as well. So if you're going to use this for like the Wraiths and stuff, make sure you have a, war, uh, a Resurrection off for that double reroll. Okay? A Wall of Threat is... Reduce damage flicking your water by one to minimum of one. You know, so if you have three wounds down to two. Fade of Darkness. Once per battle, you can teleport and deep strike in with a unit with three inches of the guy who got the relic. You end up at nine inches away. So you have to have an overlord. So if you want a good combo with this, you can have an overlord, Nemazar. You can teleport Nemazar next to Gurleyman, turn his damn powers off, and then you can bring in Vanguard Arboron or Salinch Guard to punch him in the face. So we actually have a way to deal with Gurleyman. Yay. Okay, let's skip on to the points now because the rest is junk. These are all the new rules. I'll post, post pictures of these. Right, this is, where is Necrons? Right, there we go. Necrons. Gauss Pylon, 550. Nice Shroud, 220. There is no relic in this. So until the FAQ comes out, it's technically free. Because they probably just forgot to add it in. Because they don't like Necrons for some reason. So the way it's written now, until an FAQ comes out, the Veil of Darkness is actually free. So, that is all you really need to know about Chapter Prude if you play Necrons. If you play other space, if you play other factions, then go watch another video. Okay then, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.